Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a skincare routine slash skincare favorites that I want to share with you guys. I know you guys are probably wondering where I've been, but I did actually post a kind of a small update video on my vlog channel if you guys are interested in checking that out. The link is always down in the description box. Pretty much I just graduated from beauty school and I'm right now in the process of getting my esthetician license. That's pretty much why I've been MIA from YouTube. It just took up a lot of my time and now that I'm finally finished, I really, really wanted to share with you guys what skincare favorites I've been loving just because as an esthetician, skincare is like our main focus. And before I started beauty school, I really didn't know much about skincare or taking care of your skin. I learned to like really fall in love with skincare and buying skincare products. So I'm just going to show you guys all the products I use and what order I use them in. I pretty much have my routine down and I'm really, really happy with it. So the first step that I do, obviously, if I'm wearing makeup at the end of the night, I will pretty much just take a makeup wipe or like even a baby wipe and use some micellar water on it just to take off the majority of my makeup. And I don't have a favorite micellar water. I kind of just switch off between different brands. But after that, if I'm wearing eyeliner or waterproof mascara or like just heavy eye makeup, I will take my physician's formula the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. You get it at any place where they sell Physicians Formula. I found mine at Ulta. Um, but yeah, so it comes with a little tiny baby spatula. And it's pretty much like this gel consistency. I want to say gel. What would I call this? Soft texture. And I would, I'll take just a teeny tiny bit on the spatula and use that to massage in between my fingers and just take off all of my eye makeup and I really love this because it doesn't burn or sting my eyes like a lot of makeup removers tend to do. I used to use the Neutrogena eye makeup remover which worked really well but it just really stinged my eyes and I didn't like that um, but this is also very affordable just like the Neutrogena one so I definitely recommend it and then after I do that I will do a double cleanse. I only do double cleanse at the end of the night morning time I just use um, one cleanser so I'll usually switch off between different cleansers but right now um, the one that I always use is a Neutrogena fresh foaming cleanser I've been using this since high school and I still love it till this day I just love the way it smells I think it does a great job at taking off most of my makeup if you are on a budget and don't want to spend too much on skincare definitely recommend Neutrogena their cleanser that I I'm obsessed with is the Murad Age Reform Refreshing Cleanser. I actually have not tried any Murad products up until I started beauty school because Murad was the brand that we worked with and that we practiced doing facials and stuff on. But the Refreshing Cleanser is the one that my instructor recommended for my skin type. And by the way, my skin type, I have oily combo skin. Right now, actually, my skin has been super, super dry. I'm not sure why because usually during summertime, it's the most oily it's ever been. I think it could be because I just came back from a music festival and I was kind of a little bit sunburnt, or not sunburnt, but I got a little bit tan. So I think my skin is just kind of peeling a little bit. But anyways, I really, really love Murad's cleansers. This is my favorite one. It's usually meant for or geared more towards people who want to get rid of like fine lines, wrinkles, all that stuff because it's the age reform line. They recently did change the name of this line. They didn't want to have a line specifically just for mature skin. They wanted it more for people who just in general have trouble with fine lines and stuff like that. This one smells very fresh, very clean, and it's not overpowering. So if you are very sensitive to smell, I don't think so this will be a problem for you. Also from Murad, I have been loving the hydrating toner. Now when I did facials back in school, this is a toner that I used majority of the time just because I felt like it was a good overall um, toner for any type of skin type. It's their Resurgence Hydrating Toner, so definitely, definitely a really good toner for those who have dry skin. Toners are meant to balance out your pH levels in your skin. So once that happens, sometimes your skin tends to over dry. But this one, it smells amazing. It smells like roses in my opinion. If you guys like the smell, like a very floral, fragrant 
um, smell, then you'll really, really like this. It is alcohol free, which is good. It has cucumber and grape seed extracts, but um, I absolutely love this toner. It's my favorite, and I feel like I probably will repurchase this after I'm out because I'm almost done with it. All right, so after, after, <laughs> sorry, Nigel's in the room with me. Um, after I tone, I like to use a exfoliator, and I do not exfoliate every day. Um, I feel like exfoliating should only be done two to three times a week just because you don't want to over dry or um, cause any fissures in your skin. My favorite, favorite exfoliator that I've been using, and it is pretty affordable, I would say, is the Bliss Micro Magic Skin Renewing Micro Microdermabrasion Scrub. I got this at Ulta, and I... Uh, gravitated towards this because of the name so it says skin renewing microdermabrasion scrub and microdermabrasion was one of the services I loved doing during school and if you guys don't know what it is it's pretty much a service or facial where we use like a machine where we pretty much scrape off a lot of the dead skin cells on your face and after it just leaves your skin it leaves your skin feeling really smooth and gives you a nice smooth application for your makeup. So I wanted to try this just because it had microdermabrasion in its name. You just rub it into your skin for about a minute or two and then you just rinse it. And I really liked it just because it's really gentle. A lot of exfoliators can be too tough on skin, especially if you have really sensitive skin. So um, this is a really, really good. I feel like it was only about $20, but it's not super ex expensive. And since we're on the topic of exfoliating, I wanted to share with you guys a product. So this product was sent to me, and I've tried it out for the last two to three weeks now, and I really, really like it for exfoliating and cleansing, but this is the Duval Radiant Spin Scare System. It looks like this. This is the, um, what do you call this? It came with four different brush heads. The ones in the box I have right now is the um, little stone that you can use to exfoliate your feet. Um, and then I have this really big one which is used for your body. I have these two little ones which, ooh. Well, I had two little ones, one for exfoliating and one for cleansing. So what I like to do for cleansing is I will take the applicator, I'll pour some of the cleanser onto the um, brush head and then it just starts spinning and then you just gently massage your face like that and then for the exfoliating brush head pretty much just do the same thing with an exfoliator so I would just use this um, with that brush head and then do a gentle massage or if you want to exfoliate every day um, but don't want to over dry or cause too much irritation to your skin, I would just use a brush head by itself with no product and then just massage your face after you cleanse. If you want to check this out, you can go on their website. I'll have a link down below in the description box. I also have a 70% off coupon that you guys can use if you want to get a lot of money off for this set. Highly recommend it and their shipping is really, really fast. Um, this is really hard for me because I love using different types of masks, whether they're face masks, sheet masks, gel masks. I have like a ton of them. Um, but my favorite favorite that I love is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This is just a little mini size. I definitely will purchase the big size after I'm done with it. So I like to use this all over my face, but I like to use this other mask in like my nose area or anywhere where I have a lot of enlarged pores. This is the Glam Glow Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment and it comes in this little neon bottle. For this, I put it mainly on my nose and then I'll kind of like expand it right here. And what it does, it, it kind of turns into a foam after you leave it on for about a minute and then you kind of just massage it into your face and it'll leave this area right here super smooth. And I've been having a lot of trouble putting makeup over my nose. It's been getting very dry and texturized and just not cute. So this really helps with that. I like to use this at least twice a week. For masks, I try to do around two to three times a week, especially after I use an exfoliator. So this rose clay mask smells super good, but I like this because I do have a little bit of texture on my face. Mainly, um, I have like little baby like pustules and papules um, 
I don't know if you can tell right now, but sometimes like if I use highlighter and it's too much, you can kind of see the little bumps on my face. And this just helps retexturize my face, makes it a lot more smooth, and makes my makeup application look a lot better. So I really love this. And after a mask, I like to use my serum. So the serum that I've been loving is the 4th Ray Rainfall 2% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And I'm still on the lookout for more serums as well as eye creams because eye creams, I haven't really found one that I really, really loved. So if you have any recommendations on eye creams or serums, let me, not, let me know down below. Um, but this one I got about three weeks ago and I've been using it ever since and I really, really like it. Especially since my skin has been pretty dry lately, this has been a lifesaver. So hyaluronic acid is a really good ingredient that you can use especially if you do have dry skin it pretty much um helps moisturize and replenish your skin and kind of just locks in moisture and it works really well if you have a really good moisturizer to use along with it so i've been using the fourth ray beauty good mood gel moisturizer i love gel moisturizers especially for when i do have my oily skin and i love the texture of it it's very airy and moussey and this one in particular smells like a watermelon so it smells really really good and i just love it all right so that sums it up for all my skincare favorites i really Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what some of your skincare favorites are so I can check them out because I am still pretty new to skincare and the world of skincare products. And also leave me any video requests you guys have because I'm trying to film more. I'm just stuck because I don't know what to film. So yeah, and if you guys want to be kept up with what I've been doing in my personal life, ch definitely check out my vlog channel, which is always linked in the description box. So that is pretty much that. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!